Hi, Narinka friends. It's Mrs. Diggs, and I am back with another story. We are now going to read Charlie and the Curious Club. And I'm just thinking right now, what does curious mean? And what we're going to do is we're going to read a little bit of the story and then we're going to come back to see if we can define what curious means. Let's go ahead and get started. Charlie McCloud was curious by nature. Even ordinary things like regular old apples sent his wills a spinning. What makes some apples red and others green? Does eating one a day really keep the doctor away? Hmm. So you can say you can see that he has his thinking brain on. Charlie crunched down to the core. Huh. He spit a round seed onto the table. Hey mom, if I planted this, would an apple tree grow? Mom smiled. Sounds like an investigation for the Curious Club. Charlie pumped his fist. Sure does. I'm going to call Dylan over for a special meeting. Charlie scooped up three apples from the basket and headed outside to the treehouse. Dylan arrived minutes later and got right to work investigating. Look at the shape of this seed, he said. Neat, said Charlie, but I haven't figured out whether or not apples are like medicine and can really keep the doctor away. Want to help me look in this book? Sure, Dylan reached to, the, to take the book from Charlie's hands when a loud thunk stopped them both. What was that? asked Charlie. So they are getting curious. They're going to investigate in this book here. The boys peered outside and saw a moving truck pull in next door. A lady with tight gray curls stepped out and sitting on her shoulder was a parrot. As you can see, you see the lady right here and she has a parrot on her shoulder. We can investigate apples and doctors later, Charlie stated. Right now, the Curious Club has to find out about our neighbor and her pet parrot. Yeah, exclaimed Dylan. Why doesn't it just fly away? Hmm, another question asked. The boys ran inside to ask Mrs. McCloud if they can meet the new neighbor and learn more about her unusual pet. Sure, said Mrs. McCloud. I've already met Miss Shirley and she seems very nice. The ding dong of the doorbell was followed by a loud cuckoo. Pierre, shush, said the gray haired lady as she opened the front door. Good afternoon, I'm Miss Shirley and this noisy guy is Pierre. Come on in. And as you can see right here, they are meeting the pair. All right, now that we've read a little bit of the story, what do we think curious means? Let's think about it. What I noticed is that they asked a lot of questions about things that they didn't know about, and they wanted to investigate it. So what it sounds to me, curious means that they're eager to learn or know some, about something new. What do you think? Do you think that too? Give me a chest thumbs up if you think that as well. All right, let's go ahead and finish the story. As Charlie entered the living room, new question flooded his mind. There were so many things he'd never seen before. What should we investigate first? Caca! Pierre's squawks reminded Charlie of their mission. Miss Shirley, why doesn't Pierre fly away? So there's another question that he has. Is that safe curiosity? What do you think? Do you think that's safe? Yeah, he's just curious about the bird. Miss Shirley reached for Pierre as she sat on the sofa. His wing is clipped, see? 
And now that he asked the question and he investigated, he got his answer. Dylan took notes in the Curious Club journal and made a sketch of Pierre's clipped wing. Miss Shirley asked what Dylan was doing. Charlie explained all about the Curious Club and that gave him an idea. I know Pierre can be the third member of our club. Pierre squawked and flapped his wings. I guess he approves. Miss Shirley laughed. Would you boys like some lemonade? Both boys nodded and Miss Shirley headed into the kitchen. Charlie wandered around the room. Look at all the stuff. Dylan picked up an odd looking gadget. Charlie spotted a colorful trinket on the table. I think that there's a new kind of candy over here, Charlie whispered. Do you think the red ones are strawberry or cherry? That's a strange looking dish, Dylan added. What do you suppose, suppose the letters mean? Sounds like an investigation for the Curious Club, Charlie exclaimed. So do you think that is safe curiosity? If you see something strange, hmm, think about it. Coco! Pierre hurried his way to the table. Why is he pecking like that? Charlie asked. Dylan shrugged. Maybe it's his candy. Hmm. Oh, let me show you the picture. <laughs> All right. Let's take some candies back to the treehouse anyway. We can taste them there. Did someone say candies? I love candies, Miss Shirley entered with a tray of lemonade, but nearly dropped it when she saw what the boys were investigating. Oh dear, that's not candy. That's my medication in my special container. It has exactly the right amount that I need to take each day. So that's what the letters are for, Dylan said. Pierre was trying to warn us. The bird was trying to warn them. Being curious is good thing, boys, but curiosity without cautious is dangerous. Do you know what happens if you take too much medicine or if you take the wrong kind? And that's really, really important. Again, sometimes we have to use medication if our belly hurts or if we have a headache or maybe we might have a broken leg but we have to ask a trusted adult and to make sure they and make sure that they give it to us. Another thing I want to point out is that the boys did not get permission to take that candy that they thought that they thought was candy. We have to make sure that we always ask permission for something to make sure that we are being safe. All right. So she says, "Do you know what happens if you take too much medicine or if you take the wrong kind?" Something bad, Charlie guessed. Look here, in this poison safety book, said Miss Shirley. Charlie read out loud, tummy aches, vomiting, a visit to the hospital. Oh no, this is something the Curious Club needs to know more about right now. May we borrow this? Of course, replied Miss Shirley, on one condition. Whatever you learn, the Curious Club will share with you so you will share with other children. Right. While they studied the poison safety book and munched on apples, they kept the doctor away and made a new pledge for the Curious Club. All for one, one for all. We explore things big or small, but before we touch or smell or taste, we ask a grown-up if it's safe. I love that. All right. And later they kept the poison to share all they learned with the kids just like you. So let's look at this chart here. Let's see what they learned. Hey kids, stay safe by staying out of off limit cupboards and respecting your parents rules for safety not dumping out or mixing any liquids, medicines, or food products. Never assume anything is candy. 
and ask a grown-up before you touch, smell, taste, or drink something new or unusual. I love it. All right, I wanna go back. Let's say this pledge together one more time. All for one, one for all. We explore things, big or small, but before we touch or smell or taste, we ask a grown-up if it's safe. Cuckoo! So the important piece in that story, my friends, it is okay to be curious. We want you to be curious because we want you to learn. But also just remember, remember to always ask an adult for something, especially if you do not know what it is. If it's something that looks a little bit strange, again, make sure you ask a trusted adult, ask for permission. With peace and love, Mrs. Diggs.